Chelsea just got the worst news of her life when the truth finally comes out about her father. Chelsea Clinton has resurfaced somewhat recently by becoming about as equally active on social media as her nemesis Donald Trump who her mother lost the election to. Perhaps she's become more vocal, weighing on in anything and everything she thinks requires her two cents, to position herself for a future political run. We can only hope that's not the case as the nation isn't ready for Hillary Clinton 2.0. However, it will probably be a while before we hear too much more from Chelsea after she was just handed some rather devastating news this week about her father that she was neither prepared for nor wanted to hear. Chelsea has been chiming in on Twitter to practically everything she happens to hear, mostly with antagonistic responses to things that people in the news say or do. While it's not common, conservatives find themselves agreeing with her on occasion, specifically in regards to her comments in defense of Baron Trump who's frequently under attack as the child of a controversial president. Another more recent tweet defending the Trumps was this week when she condemned comedian Kathy Griffin for her pretending to behead the president. However, her the most surprising statement came out recently about her father after something she said and probably instantly regretted. Chelsea just pissed off the wrong president and it was one who was even less afraid than Trump to say what he's really thinking. This Pac Review reports that a hated exchange between Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte and Chelsea started with when the former first daughter questioned Duterte's apparent sarcasm about his country soldiers raping women. The leader recently declared martial law after his troops began battle with Islamic State fighters who infiltrated the Philippine town of Marilai. Duterte announced his apologies and apparent permission for the horrific acts of his soldiers ahead of time, for which he believed was inevitable in this situation. According to the Daily Mail, the country's blunt leader publicly preemptively took personal responsibility for his soldiers raping as many as three women each on a daily basis once the country went into lockdown. For this martial law and the consequences of martial law and the ramifications of martial law, I and I alone would be responsible, Duterte wholeheartedly announced after making the extreme declaration of imposing martial law on his citizens for their safety. Just do your work. I will handle the rest. I will be imprisoned for you. If you rape three women, I will say that I did it, he said. While the remarks were supposedly said in just as his own brash way of delivering a message to his soldiers to obliterate the ISIS enemy in their country no matter what it takes, Chelsea had her own public remarks to make about it. Not funny. Ever, she responded on social media. Duterte took her response as an invitation to say more things to offend this former first daughter and came back at her with something that truly hit home. Not only did he publicly refer to Chelsea as a whore he followed it up with asking her a personal question about rape in regards to her father's infamous affair with Monica Lewinsky. These whores, they hear rape. Like, like Chelsea, she slammed me. I was not joking, I was being sarcastic. Listen to the speech. I do not laugh at my own jokes, the unabashed Philippine president said, according to the Daily Mail. I will tell her, when your father, the president of the United States, was F.N. Lewinsky and the girls in the White House, how did you feel? Did you slam your father? Duterte didn't stop there. Referencing other rape cases that Chelsea could probably relate to, Duterte added, it is a crime actually committed by soldiers, mostly Americans in Okinawa according to BizPak Review. But, we never heard of a Filipino. But I am just warning them that anything they do, I have to answer for it. I take full responsibility for your foolishness. I speak sarcastically, he continued. You Americans, like Chelsea, be careful because you live in a glass house. He closed with the same personal question he started with, saying, I repeat, when President Clinton was F. Ng Lewinsky, what was your statement or your reaction? The Clintons are accustomed to calling out other people for what they do without expecting to get it back in return. Chelsea clearly didn't realize who she was messing with when she ran her mouth and got burned in return. The president of the Philippines doesn't operate on political correctness like what everyone on the left expects. Looks like Chelsea will be finding shelter from his blunt criticism in her safe space for a while. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.